Hello, I'm Adam Bouillard with PowerServe Energy Advisors. The purpose of this presentation is to show how Texas electricity users can save money and time by using a qualified electricity broker. So to get started, it's important to understand what electricity brokers do and how they came into existence. What is an electricity broker? An electricity broker is a company or individual that facilitates the sale of power to customers but does not sell for one electricity company. They shop terms and rates from multiple electricity providers at wholesale prices. They do not supply any of the power sold. Electricity brokers came into existence after the energy markets in Texas became deregulated. It's important to understand energy deregulation to know how the competitive markets work. So what is Texas energy deregulation? Texas energy consumers now have the power to choose. The deregulation of the electricity industry in Texas became effective on January 1, 2002 and gave customers the opportunity to select the supplier of his or her choice. The Public Utilities Commission of Texas refers to this as the power to choose. Price to beat. Customers who remain with the incumbent provider, called the Affiliated Retail Energy Provider, will pay the rates set forth by the Public Utilities Commission of Texas. These rates are known as the price to beat. This rate will vary from market to market and may fluctuate. The affiliated retail energy provider must file for a rate increase with the Public Utilities Commission of Texas. These requests may occur twice per year. Now customers have choice. Before deregulation, the local utility supplied electricity and delivered it to homes and businesses through their poles and wires. After deregulation, the local utility still delivers electricity, but customers can choose who supplies it. Customers are no longer supplied electricity by the local utility. The local utility will continue to deliver the electricity to the customers and will also provide emergency services, meter readings, etc. Billing. Billing may be one of two ways. The first scenario is that you will receive two separate bills, one for your distribution company, the local utility, and another from your new power provider. The second scenario would be a detailed single bill that includes both combining your distribution company's charges and the new provider's charges. This will depend on the provider that you choose and their particular arrangement with their distribution company. Similarities to telecom. A similar analogy is the deregulation of the telecom industry. The phone company, local utility, still maintains the poles and wires. Consumers, however, can choose who provides their local and long distance calling. Here's a quick deregulation overview. Before deregulation, the local utility and supplier passed the cost of supply onto the consumer. Consumers had no options if the utilities raised prices. Then, after deregulation, retail energy providers supplied electricity. Each consumer chooses who to buy electricity from. Customers can switch providers and they bill the customers. Then, the local utility still maintains the poles and wires and reads the meters. Retail energy providers' rates for electricity vary and they compete for customers. Deregulation at work. Since 2002, approximately 85% of commercial and industrial customers in Texas have switched power providers at least once. Approximately 40% of residential customers in deregulated areas of the state have switched from the former incumbent provider to a competitive retail energy provider. Now that we understand energy deregulation, it's important to understand what factors are important when choosing a retail energy provider. The provider should be registered or approved by the State Public Utility Commission in each area or jurisdiction. To maintain uniform business practices, each state utility commission must approve only valid and creditworthy providers. Each provider must prove it meets a standard of particular credit, billing systems, and maintain minimum legal requirements. The provider should offer innovative and simple products. At a minimum, the provider should offer fixed and indexed products. A fixed contract may be better for those who prefer a conservative approach. 
Conversely, a monthly index product has pricing that can be attractive, but can rise and fall with market changes. Therefore, should be carefully considered because of the potentially large fluctuations in billing. In comparison, you might think of it like a fixed versus an adjustable rate mortgage. Additionally, you may want providers offering other products such as green alternative energy solutions. The provider has a fair and balanced contract. The contract is the provider's method of outlining its terms and conditions or transaction details. The contract should follow a standard legal format. Customers should request a simple explanation of the terms and conditions. Customization of the contract can be important as well, meaning there are sometimes options within the contract needing serious consideration. The provider ought to offer a competitive price. You should get multiple bids, evaluate each bid for the product specifics and risk factors. For example, a fixed versus a variable, a 12 or 36 month contract. The lowest bidder may not always be the best. Abnormally low bids can suggest the potential of hidden cost, added risk, or price volatility. Hidden costs can be items such as meter fees or early termination fees. Long-term customer retention is not generated by signing the next contract alone. Instead, it comes from servicing the customer efficiently and with integrity. The provider represents reliable, timely, and accurate billing. The bill should appear clear and concise. Ask to see a sample bill to better understand how charges may appear each billing cycle. Take note of any penalties for late payments. Additionally, it's helpful to review how the provider resolves billing disputes. If a discrepancy occurs, it's best to pay the undisputed amount of the bill first, then settle the dispute within 10 business days. Lastly, customers should get their bill at the same time monthly. The provider needs to be financially stable. Providers perform a credit check on its customers, so consumers should do the same of prospective providers. The provider should have a good Better Business Bureau rating. You can also check out the company's Moody or Dun & Bradstreet rating. Don't be afraid to ask for a copy of your prospective provider's yearly financial. The provider should have considerable industry experience. Longevity is a vital factor when choosing a strong provider. A reputable company includes an experienced management team. Customers should look for a company with sustained history of performance in retail electricity. A company's willingness to embrace technology can be a considerable indicator of future performance, including whether they will keep up with the changing industry trends. Provider service should be based on a solid commitment of professional and effective customer service. Customer service really begins once the contract has been executed. First, a seamless transition from one provider to the next often spotlights the operational capabilities of a provider. The best providers can deliver a simple enrollment plan, describe its complaint resolution plan, present accurate contact information, and measure its customer satisfaction. In fact, some states publish helpful consumer complaint records that list monthly rankings of customer service. Then there is a strong commitment of excellence starting at the top in the organization. It becomes evident in the way the client is treated. Electricity brokers do the research for you. Many business owners find there are too many demands on their time that interfere with their top priority, running their business. We will help you by taking a time-intensive project off your plate and provide you with a turnkey solution. An electricity broker uses their industry resources, experience, and technology to view and analyze your company's usage. Then they will shop multiple electricity providers and provide you a comprehensive quote for you, usually within 24 hours. They'll find cost savings on your electricity, leaving you free to work on your core business objectives. It's that simple. Does it cost more to use an electricity broker? We have no affiliation to one particular company so you will receive unbiased advice on the best options available. As all electricity brokers are paid by the electricity provider and not you, we can shop the top electricity suppliers and provide custom quotes at no cost or obligation to your business. Why are we better option than going directly to a retail provider? It's because we have the advantage of receiving wholesale rates and we can keep the overhead costs to a minimum. We pass along the discount price breaks that translate into a much lower electric bill. 
In the past, customers would have to contact many different retail providers and then compile comparable data to make a decision. That concludes this presentation, and thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at adam at powerserveenergy.com.